Today I will show you how to make 3 mask effects in Filmora 11, so let's get right into it. To create a double universe effect, you can use the same clip or try different ones with a similar sky. Place the video on the timeline, drag it down a little, then place the other video on top. Select the second video, go to transform, and flip it upside down and sideways. Then drag the video up. To adjust the placement of the video easier, scroll down, open compositing, and lower the opacity to 70%. Place the clips on the position you want, both clips need to take the same amount of space, then increase the opacity of the second layer to 100%. When that is done, go to mask, select the single line mask, to adjust it scroll down to the controls, rotate the mask 90 degrees, and invert it. Drag the mask lower until the city is fully revealed. If you click outside, you will see that there is a strong line between the skies. To mix the sky, select the second clip, go back to mask, and increase the blur strength to 10%. When that is done, press OK, click outside of the clip to remove the selection, and this is the final result. To create a zoom through ground transition, place the video on the second layer, Leave the first one empty, move a second forward, and cut the clip. Select the second part, go to mask, and apply the circle mask. Adjust the mask to be as circular as possible, so drag the sides around, and scroll down to mask controls. Let's make both the mask width and height the same size, so change it to 47.71. When that is done, right click, and copy the second part of the clip. Select the layer above, right click on the timeline, and paste it. With the third layer being selected, invert the mask. If you hide the third layer, the center will look like a puzzle piece. But let's keep it on. Show the track again, and go to the cut we made. So at one second. With the third layer being selected, go to animation, down to customize, and add a keyframe. You will see the keyframe icon on the layer. Then move 20 frames forward, so from one second to one second and 20 frames, Add another keyframe, and increase the scale until it zooms out fully. If you play the video, it will look something like this. Now let's animate the bottom layer. Go back to one second, select it, add the keyframe here, right under the previous one, and another 120 frames forward, so add it. What we will do is rotate the shape 360 degrees, increase the scale until the shape covers most of the screen, and move it out the way to the right. When that is done, press OK, and place the clip you will transition to under the cut. Go back to the start, render the timeline, and this is the final result. To create the split transition, place your videos on the timeline. Right now we have a simple cut between them. What we will do is cut a second at the end of the first clip, and one second at the start of the other one. The transition will be applied between these two parts, so select the first one, go to mask, apply the single line mask, scroll down to the controls, and rotate it 90 degrees. When that is done, right click on the first part, copy the effects, go to the second one, right click on it, and paste the effects. This way you apply the mask faster. Then we have to copy both the clips. So select them, right click, and copy. Go at the first cut that we made, select the layer above, right click on the timeline, and paste them. Select the first part on top. What we will do is change the masking of the clips on the second layer to invert that. So go to mask, and invert the mask. Go to the second one, select it, and invert it also. If you move one of the layers, you will see that they are cut in two parts. When that is done, press OK, go to Transitions, and search for the simple roll transition. You have many choices here, try and see how they look. Scroll down. I will place the simple roll 11 on the bottom layer, and the simple roll 10 on the top layer. So this way, one part will transition to the left side, and one to the right. Go back to the start. And this is the final result. For more Filmora tips and tricks, make sure to watch this other video.